Freedom of speech means freedom for those who you despise, and freedom to express the most despicable views. It also means that the government cannot pick and choose which expressions to authorize and which to prevent. I'm a big advocate of freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of thought. The First Amendment does not guarantee the press a constitutional right of special access to information not available to the general public, nor does it cloak the inmate with special rights of freedom of speech. It is clear that not in one thing alone, but in many ways equality and freedom of speech are a good thing. I grew up under communism so we could only learn Russian, and then when communism fell in 1989 we could learn a few more things and have the freedom to travel and the freedom of speech, and the freedom of dreaming, really. And why do we, who say we oppose tyranny and demand freedom of speech, allow people to go to prison and be vilified, and magazines to be closed down on the spot, for suggesting another version of history? A nice, easy place for freedom of speech to be eroded is comics, because comics are a natural target whenever an election comes up. I absolutely support President Trump 100%, and he inspired me to run. I got frustrated throughout his presidency watching big tech censor conservatives, so I'll be fighting back on that, because everyone has the freedom of speech. Freedom of expression and freedom of speech aren't really important unless they're heard. The freedom of hearing is as important as the freedom of speaking. It is easy to believe in freedom of speech for those with whom we agree. We have the freedom of speech. We are able to hold hands in protest and stand up for what we believe in and have people hear what you have to say. I wore a uniform to stand up for all rights and that means I don't pick or choose which I defend, whether it's for equality rights or women's rights. I've been consistent on that in my public life. I've also stood up for religious freedom, conscience rights of freedom of speech. In the US, free speech and the press are protected by the First Amendment. It has a clarity unmatched by modern legislators and declares that Congress shall make no law, abridging the freedom of speech, or the press. We need to defend principles like democracy, freedom of speech, gender equality, and the rule of law through exemplifying these on a global scale, not through the same cynical, isolationist policies which have eroded these so-called British values across the rest of the world. We who officially value freedom of speech above life itself seem to have nothing to talk about but the weather. I believe in freedom of speech, but I believe we should also have the right to comment on freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, for those who don't accept multiculturalism or the sexual revolution, is increasingly limited, mainly by threats to the jobs of those who speak out of turn. Freedom meant for me to wear earrings, not freedom of speech. We want to protect freedom of speech, but it is not unlimited freedom of speech. There has always been rules around defamation, slander and libel, and in Victoria, we have effective rules on racial and religious vilification. There is no ageism or youthism when it comes to freedom of speech. We are all citizens. Freedom of speech is a human right and the foundation upon which democracy is built. Any restriction of freedom of speech is a restriction upon democracy. So the comic book Legal Defense Fund is out there preserving and fighting for, and sometimes winning and sometimes losing, the fight for First Amendment rights in comics and, more generally, for freedom of speech. America's greatest contribution to the world is its concept of democracy, its concept of freedom, freedom of action, freedom of speech, and freedom of thought. In Iran, there is no freedom of the press, no freedom of speech, no independent judiciary, no free elections. There is no freedom of religion, not even for Shiites, who are forced by Iran's theocracy to adhere to one narrow set of official rules. Matanji's mantra is AIM, which is MIA backwards. She fights for freedom of speech and stands for truth and lives in the ghetto because her dad was the first person in Hindu mythology who came from the hood, but had gained enlightenment through not being a Brahmin. We should silence anyone who opposes the right to freedom of speech. The Bill of Rights was intended to secure freedom of speech, the freedom of speech of members of parliament to speak freely rather than be a threat of, the threat of an overpowerful monarch at the time. It is by the goodness of God that in our country we have those three unspeakably precious things, freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, and the prudence never to practice either of them. Problems in our country haven't been caused by Donald Trump, America and its ambitions or CIA spies. Our problems are rooted in a bad government system, the lack of free elections, independent courts and freedom of speech.
Freedom of speech, for us, is to preach the truth of Christ even when society says it's against the law. Hamas is a terrorist organization dedicated to annihilating the Jewish state. It runs a theocratic totalitarian state in Gaza, with no individual liberty, and no freedom of speech or press. Freedom of speech is freedom above all for those whose views you dislike most. I think my first album opened a lot of doors for me to push the freedom of speech to the limit. We're losing our freedom of speech. We are losing freedom of religion. We are losing freedom of the press. Resist this war on God, freedom of religion and freedom of speech. All of us technology companies need to create some tools that help diminish the volume of fake news. We must try to squeeze this without stepping on freedom of speech and of the press, but we must also help the reader. Without freedom of thought, there can be no such thing as wisdom, and no such thing as public liberty without freedom of speech. Hand in hand with freedom of speech goes the power to be heard, to share in the decisions of government which shape men's lives. It seems that the right of freedom of speech that was enshrined in numerous constitutions is now under attack by religious institutions. I joined the Labour Party because I believed in equality, in freedom of speech and in tolerance, compassion and understanding for people, irrespective of their background and views. In whatever I decide to do in the future I will hold to those principles. Hate speech and freedom of speech are two different things. Wherever Islam gets its foot on the ground, you see less freedom, less freedom of speech, less freedom of anything. Freedom of speech should be wide open as long as it doesn't incite violence. When I think about America, I think about freedom. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion. It's a peaceful country. In many respects, the United States is a great country. Freedom of speech is protected more than in any other country. It is also a very free society. In a democracy, you need to have a strong judicial system. You need freedom of speech, you need art, and you need a free press. Islam does not believe in democracy, freedom of speech, freedom of the press, or freedom of assembly. It does not separate religion and politics. It is partly a religion, but it is much more than that. It has a political agenda that goes far outside the realm of religion. I live in America. I have the right to write whatever I want. And it's equaled by another right just as powerful, the right not to read it. Freedom of speech includes the freedom to offend people. Freedom of speech, freedom of the press, and freedom of religion all have a double aspect, freedom of thought and freedom of action. My desire to curtail undue freedom of speech extends only to such public areas as restaurants, airports, streets, hotel lobbies, parks, and department stores. Verbal exchanges between consenting adults in private are as of little interest to me as they probably are to them. Visit our website for more quotes, quoting.com.